Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great time and are healthy, alive and blessed. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic, which is not an exam topic. I'm going to talk about uh, how to join a Medex Facebook group. Okay, let's get it started. This is the uh, what a Medex Facebook group looks like. Probably you're going to see this background picture here, our logo, and this is the address, facebook.com slash groups slash amedex and like you can see the group is private meaning that you need an invitation to the group by an existing member in order to join it okay so let's talk about what you need in order to get in three things first we need a genuine facebook id your Facebook ID must be in English and genuine, and it should represent your real identity, and we get there very soon. Second thing you need is a supporting document that proves you're a genuine exam candidate. You want to be in the group just for the purpose of exam preparation, nothing else. And third, you're gonna need an invitation to the group by an existing member, because the group is private, and this is one of the conditions in every Facebook private group. Uh, private Facebook group you need an invitation by existing member to get in let's break these three steps and three requirements one by one the first thing like I said is a genuine Facebook ID representing your real identity what do we do we mean by uh, genuine Facebook ID representing your real identity uh, it should include your real name the one you use on your legal documents like passport like driver license whatever the legal name you're known by uh, you're known uh, by officials like governments okay uh, and this ID must be in English only please don't use other letters than English uh, some people like to just use uh, to make their Facebook IDs like in their native language I will respect that but in order to get in the group you have to change it okay uh, so that's the second thing and please make sure that you understand this part guys we really understand that you might have limitations uh, you might not want to reveal your real identity for privacy issues you might have cultural limitations or so you want to stay or just you want to stay anonymous we understand that and respect that but please in return understand that this is our rule if you want to be in the group your id should be a real one containing your real name and it should be in english only so after you made sure you your uh, facebook id uh, meets the criteria to join the group second comes supporting documents to prove you are a genuine exam candidate the first and the most important document we rely on is your placement letter for the exam when you apply for any of amc examinations amc will send you a letter showing your name on it your uh, exam date and also your venue of all the information in that placement letter the only things we need is one your exam date and second your name in english so feel free to cross out the rest of the information before you submit this document for just approval and like i said this is the first and most important document we consider as a proof but we also understand that most of you actually are preparing for the exam while you are just doing your you know things with AMC so you might want to join the group but you still don't have a placement letter we understand that so in the meanwhile there are things that we could consider as supporting documents for you if you don't have a placement letter yet uh, you can instead send us a screenshot of your AMC portal when you want to apply for any of AMC examinations if you want to come to Australia and practice medicine at some point you're going to have an AMC portal an, an account on AMC website 
and this is what we mean by your AMC portal. Send us, you know, take a screenshot of that portal from the part that has your name on it. And in addition to that screenshot, prepare a screenshot of a legal document, a photo ID in English, like your driver license, like your passport, like whatever photo ID in English, which is legal, which is just acceptable by authorities. And again, please make sure that you cross out all the unnecessary information uh, before you submit the document. We only need your name or in, you know, in the second part, like for your, if you don't have a placement letter, your photo on your ID. So what if you want to make yourself prepared for the exam? You're sure you want to make the, to take the exam, but you don't have a placement letter and you haven't applied for your AMC portal, like you're in the middle of some process, I don't know. We can consider another just solution for that as well. And it's temporary only. You can join the group by that, but we expect you to uh, send us your placement letter as soon as you receive that. This is very important, guys. Or you could be kind enough to let us know about any updates on your stats. So I was saying, if you don't have an AMC portal <clears throat> either, uh, what you can do is just uh, send us an ID in English, like I said in the second, in the previous part, like driver license, password, whatever, plus some documentation in English language that shows you are uh, either a medical student or medical doctor. You think of that, like you can send off your certificate of graduation, your medical student card, whatever. Again, I can't stress enough, these, these you know, last two are just temporary. The moment you receive your placement letter, you have to send it to us. Please understand that. Like uh, we had this problem a, uh, a couple of times. Someone gets in with like a passport or a snapshot of their AMC portal. They stay in for a while and they say, uh, we just follow up on the placement letter. They, don't get back to us, we remove them from the group and it causes troubles for them and for us as well. Okay, so you have your document, you have your genuine Facebook ID, and the last thing you need is an invitation to the group. But before I get there, let me answer a very important question. You know, most of you have asked us so far. And this question is where to submit your documents. You want to submit proof of uh, the fact that you are a genuine exam candidate and you want to submit these documents to us. For that purpose, you can use your Facebook Messenger to direct message to the group admin who are responsible for approval of your joint requests. Where to find those IDs, it's easy. Uh, this is our AMEDEX Telegram channel. There is a pinned message at the top. You can click on that. You're going to get a PDF file and we try to update this PDF file with all the necessary information you're going to need to join the group, including the ID to which you have to write and send your documents. Or alternatively, you could find this information on our Facebook page, AMEDX PTY LTD, and this is the address. So it's easy. Just use your Facebook Messenger to text the admin or admins, you know, in charge of approvals, and you can find the admin IDs from here or here. Okay. And please, please, pay close attention to these two parts. Please never use any other means to request to join the group. Never ask anywhere else, such as our Telegram groups, admins, personal Facebook pages, support section of the AMEDEX website, comments in AMEDEX Facebook page, etc. 
if you do you can never join the group seriously guys the only place you can communicate regarding joining the group is facebook messenger and talking to the admins in charge of <coughs> approvals and one more thing please avoid sending any form of content messages invitations links other than those directly related to your request or professional concerns regarding the group uh, we have you know had these occasions where people were sending the admins like links to other pages like funny videos like uh, if it's so kind of you but you're not interested uh, please use keep it professional thank you very much for understanding the third thing you're going to need like i said it's very important is an invitation to the group by an existing member because we only accept new members via invitation by existing members and we have a good reason for that we want to keep this community safe and healthy as much as possible so we want to make sure that if an existing member brings in another member the inviter is going to is going to take full responsibility for the person he invites or she invites and in case that any of members breach or break any rules not only do we uh, remove the person who breached the rule but we are also going to take remove you know the inviter as well so please make sure you understand who you're inviting to the group what's next okay so you have a genuine facebook id you have submitted your supporting documents and you've been invited to the group simply wait for your approval or you know hearing back from the admins if further documents are required and please understand that it might take a while before we can approve your request because we receive many of these requests on a daily basis and we are you know absolutely thorough about who we are letting in we have to just assess everything very closely one important thing please never call admins via messenger it's happened a lot in a lot of times like someone calls us on facebook messenger and they want to join the group please you know just accelerate our approval i have an upcoming exam please this please that don't do that the only means of communication with the admins of the group is via facebook messenger that's it okay let's summarize in a nutshell to join the group you need a genuine facebook id in english and supporting documents sent to the admins and an invitation to the group by an existing member and patience to wait your approval <clears throat> okay now you're in i how uh, strongly recommend that before you start any sort of activity in the group like liking others comments or posts commenting on something or posting anything please read the terms and rules of the group very carefully word by word line by line okay and if you find any part of the rules and regulations unclear you can get back to us get back to admins and ask about that i'm saying this because in case of any breach of the group rules we block remove that person immediately without any warning and there will be no way for that person to get back in the group okay so make sure that you understand the group rules and you stick to them and we had this problem like someone breaks a rule and we remove that person they get back to us and are like oh sorry we didn't know that we uh, i shouldn't do that okay look guys this is your ethical responsibility your legal responsibility it's just common sense when you get into a community the first thing you need to do is just to get yourself familiarized with the rules and regulations and the vibe of that community so, okay so uh, for example if you are driving in a country and you're just exceeding the speed limit and you 
just police asks you to just pull over and you can't just justify your action by saying sorry officer i didn't know that there is a speed limit in this uh, just country or region that was your responsibility to know what uh you had to do when you get into a community so again i can't stress that enough please make sure that you get yourself familiarized with the group rules no matter how just ridiculous they might sound to you this is our rule this is the community you're joining in so if you decide to join in if you decide to stay in you have to stick to the rules you're going to find the rules in detail our privacy policy everything again uh, here at the top of our telegram channel as a paid message you can find everything there and i'm gonna put the links to our, to our social media in the description in the you know uh, details of this video you can just follow us wherever you want uh, and make sure that you read the rules and regulations line by line and you understand them please but just to be clear, I'm going to talk about some of these rules, you know, very briefly. <clears throat> okay, in terms of contents, only relevant multiple choice questions or educational material or files for that matter are allowed in the group. What you put in the group should be related to AMC exams, nothing else. So stick to that rule. I want to make this group uh we want to make this group as useful as possible for your exam preparation purposes and please understand that there is no cop copyright liability for us some of you might upload you know books from authors without their permission you might breach the copyright law the ip right law everything you might you know commit an act of infringement we have no control over what you post in the group whatsoever uh, so make sure you're not posting anything that could be an act of infringement or breach of any formal commitment you have to any organization or uh, whatever institute, anyone, any legal entity. And please note that in case you breach, you commit an act of infringement, a third party makes a complaint, like you upload a book and the author gets back to us and asks us to reveal your identity as the person who did that, we might reveal your identity. And this is why we are so thorough and meticulous about your Facebook ID representing your real name, your real legal name. <clears throat> what kind of uh, content or the format of content, you should rather say, are allowed in the group? You have to only post in text format and no other formats, such as photos. Uh, let me explain that a bit. You want to write something, you have to type it. Uh, we had this problem. Some people just write down your uh, their thoughts on a piece of paper. They take a picture and they upload it as a post. It's good, but you know the reason we're against that is that other people can't search it in the group. You want you to be able to search, you know, whatever you're looking for in the group and posting in a uh, photo format is against this principle but consider please understand that you know you just like posting some sort of clinical scenario including some photos like ecgs like skin condition whatever you need to upload the photo you do that thank you for that but in general other formats than text is not acceptable if you want to upload a file, you can use the file section to upload files consistent with the group policy. And this is very important, guys, and I can't stress that enough. I've seen that some of you start to just put in questions or content in the comment section. Comment section is only for feedback. Uh, let me give you an example. What was that like? It's like psychiatry questions. 2021 and everybody starts just putting down the question putting in the questions in the comment section never do that okay comment section is solely for feedbacks on posts if you want to post something use the post part not the comment part 
there is no advertisement or business promotion allowed uh, in the group. You any post that implies advertisement, recommendation, or promotion for people, courses, books, social media, etc., is strongly prohibited unless it's approved by the group admins. You find something that could be useful for other people. Write to us. We're going to do a full assessment if we find it useful. Like your friend runs a course in Australia or anywhere else in the world, and you believe that this course could help international medical graduates to just be more successful. You write to us. You ask us to have a look at the course or whatever material. If you find it useful, we're going to promote that all for free. And again. This is very, very, very important. And this is, you know, the part that gets most of you removed from the group. No announcements. You are not allowed to use the group for announcements. Like if you're looking for a study partner or recruitment or share accommodation, opinions, whatever, you are not allowed to post such things in the group. And if you have any issues, if, if you're looking for a study partner, you want to just see if this book could be useful for you, you can use other uh, Amedex community, uh, just communities like Telegram group. And I'm going to put all the links to all the communities we have for Amedex and for these purposes in the description below. I'm going to give you some examples of what we mean by no announcements. This is the first one. Hello, everyone. Is there any Australian textbook for psychiatry or psychiatry? Uh, probably, you know, the author means uh, psychiatry by that, you know, definitely. If you want to just see if there is a textbook for uh, uh, psychiatry in Australia, go to Telegram group and ask it there. This Facebook group is not for that purpose. Again, does anyone have the eighth edition of JM, John Murta? It's a piece of artwork. I don't know what the author was thinking, but this is a kind of post that we're going to remove the author instantly for good. Or need study partner for March, April 2022 in Australian time zone. You want a study partner? You know, hop in our Telegram group and do it there or other communities. You're not bound to AMEDEX. You can do it anywhere, but if you want to use AMEDEX for that purposes. This group is not for that purpose. So please make sure that you understand this. <clears throat> Other rules just, just to uh, very quickly cover. No buying, selling. You can't buy or sell anything in the group. And if, you, uh, if you're in the group, it means that you had a genuine Facebook ID at any point during your membership in the group. You change your ID to something else. We're going to remove you from the group. And make sure that you only use English language because this group is for international international medical graduates. And for international purposes, the international language is English. So only use English. Be respectful of other members. Avoid using offensive and abusive language, hate speech, etc. It's very important. Be respectful of others' privacy and avoid direct messaging and uh, messaging members without their consents. Okay? And the last, but not least, copyright, IP rights. Look, we strongly recommend that you avoid uploading or posting things that has an owner like it's possessed by someone else. I've been seeing that, you know, some of you guys are just putting up uploading books PDF files by AMC, just like John Murta, other authors, you know, I'm not a judge or jury. I wouldn't do that, but uh, please make sure that you avoid this act as far as possible. Don't do that. You might get in serious trouble. Okay. And I also have seen that some of you guys are posting screenshots of the questions from our question bank, which is a subscription website. We own that material. This is our IP. This is our intellectual property. Um, and if we see that you guys are posting any snapshot of any of 
our paid material we're going to remove not remove block you forever and if you have a subscription with us this sharing the contents in other media than the website is against the terms of service we're going to block your access to your account on the amedex website with no with no refund this is one of the terms of services okay so i hope that you understand that and avoid that always and once you pass your exam you need to leave the group there is no reason for you to stay in the group because the sole purpose of that group this group for you was to prepare for your amcmcq exam once you pass your exam there is no reason for you to stay in the group so leave it immediately unless uh, you want to just get some benefit back to the members by staying active and just taking uh, part in discussions helping them if you want to do that write to us we're going to assess your the history of your activity and if we consider you as beneficial for the community we might consider to extend your stay in the group as well so that was pretty much it again i strongly recommend that you study the rules of the group very carefully before you start your activity i hope that you enjoy your stay in the group and pass your exam successfully stay blessed see you soon bye